Hi, my name is Mark O'Connor. I'm the instrumentation technician on board the Celtic Explorer and I'm going to take you on a tour of the vessel. Um, we'll start here in the dry lab. This is the main area that the scientists use for doing their work. It's the interface for all the scientific equipment on board the vessel and the equipment that is used in the ocean. Now I'm going to take you outside and we're going to have a look at some of the equipment on the deck. These are the majority of the winches that are used for uh, deploying the equipment onto the seabed and at the different depths of the ocean. We have fibre optic cable, uh, dynex and different types of material and different equipment depending on what's required by the scientists. As you can see this is the uh, outside the vessel now and the main reason why well, it's called the Wild at Wallantic. Um, I'll get out of your room and let you have a look at the ocean. Unfortunately no whales today. Okay we're going to go down to the main deck. fishing gear um, is uh, located, some of the winches and deployment for the scientific equipment happens down here. This is the area that we shoot the CTD from, this is one of the main uh, pieces of equipment. Um, unfortunately it's not been used on this uh, cruise so it's wrapped up for bad weather. Um, we have a deployment system above and there is a hut for the people to control all the winches and deploy the equipment from. This is the wet lab. The wet lab now is where in a fishery survey the processing of the fish um, would happen, storage, the freezing and also as you can see a lot of activity at the moment for the present crews. Um, a lot of the hands-on work happens in here um, uh, for deployment and the pre-work. Um, behind you, you'll see in here we've got a wet lab, uh, part of the wet lab for water sampling. Um, we've got some further equipment in here. We've got some underway water system. This monitors the condition uh, like temperature and salinity of the water as we run through it on the surface. We've also got some uh, CO2 monitoring system. This monitors the CO2 levels in the water real time from when the ship leaves the harbour to comes back. Next door here. This is just a, a chemical area for the storage of chemicals in the working. So we have a tube and um, some ventilation to access some gases. Mainly just for the use of chemicals, mostly from aldehydes and stuff like that. Preservation samples. Changing area for wet gear. This is the hospital in case of an emergency. favourite room on the ship um, for the foods prepared uh, by our two excellent chefs and you can get what you want here, it's a fruit drink and three hot meals a day and then a supply of food put on for the night shift. And here's the galley, this is where our hard chefs do all the work, preparation.
images, TV, you can watch football, movies, um, books, and there's some gaming consoles as well. Two lounges, not the other one. This is the bridge, second officer in charge at the moment, running the ship and looking after our safety. We've got uh, sounders, radar, all the controls for the ship, navigation, tracking, plotting, it's all done from here. the bow. This is where we're able to load stores and uh, in the case of an emergency we can uh, winch somebody off. Um, and as you can see it's pretty calm today. Okay, that's the tour of the Celtic Explorer and hopefully we'll see you on it in a few years' time.